everyone and welcome back for a brand new series on our channel the sims for black widow challenge so today guys we're starting off on part one now if you guys have not seen the introduction or the trailer for this challenge i will leave a link just down below in the description as well as the rules where you guys can find everything that you need to know if you want to start your own black widow challenge so today we are starting off in our beautiful brand new new house in our beautiful town of Newcrest. It is bright and beautiful. It's literally just been redeveloped. There was quite a lot of old houses around in Newcrest and then there's been recently over the last couple of years since um, the mayor has changed in the town, there has been brand new houses being put up for people that uh, want to buy the houses and of course our Black Widow here has brought her own house just now. And uh, I'm really excited to tell you guys her background story. So this here is Stephanie in front of us. Her name is Stephanie Valdiva. You guys can call her Steph or S, whatever you guys would like, but her name's Stephanie. She is a young adult and she has the traits which are like bulk standard for this challenge, which are materialistic, snob and romantic. And obviously she has the aspiration to be um, love, like the love aspiration with the subcategory being the serial romantic. Now, I've got some rules here which I'm going to be following and I've kind of tweaked them a little bit to my liking and I've kind of left them open because I don't want to have that many rules. I want this challenge to be as open as possible so we have so much more so I can use my storytelling. You guys can use your own creativity to help me along with this challenge. So the main rules, I've picked three. We need to find 10 husbands or wives and we need to marry them, we need to pretend that we are the best wife ever, and then we need to kill them and steal all their money. Just take their money, obviously move them in and stuff like that. Um, now, I've said husbands and wives because our girl Stephanie is bisexual, so she will marry husbands or wives, you know what I mean? And also, I have said another rule is we must have at least seven children. Now, they can be adopted children or born naturally, it does not matter. Uh, and also, the last, the last love the last I've left the last till the best we need one million simoleons before this challenge can end now this is where it gets juicy uh I think one of the rules were that we need to do it before we like age up to an elder now I want to leave that open because I want this challenge to be as open as possible and uh yeah so I mean you guys are probably thinking wow she's really changing the rules but as you guys know I want to be able to have as much variety and just different things that we can explore in this challenge without kind of having too much rules and too many limitations on it. Uh, also too, there is basic rules such as the lifespan must be on normal and uh, we are not allowed any money cheats, which I am following. We're starting from the bottom and working our way up and I'm so excited because I personally love those challenges that you have to start from the bottom, work your way up and now we're here sort of thing. Uh, obviously no money cheats as I said before. And uh, we can have as many love interests as we want. Um, and then we're not allowed to have a job. So we can't have a job. We have to make uh, money via doing like painting, collecting harvestables and stuff. But we cannot collect harvestables when we are married. Get that. Okay, cool. So I'll probably forget that rule. But if I do forget it, just remind me in the comments, please. Yes, thank you, babes. Uh, and then we are also not following the rule of only marrying single men because I feel like that is just so much, like that just cancels out so much like storytelling. So we're not going to be following that rule. Uh, also too, it says that we must max out the charisma skill and the cooking skill. Yeah, I'm not going to be focused on that too much, but it would be good to kind of get out, like max out as many skills as we possibly can with Stephanie. All right, so that is pretty much the gist of this challenge. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am because you better believe I have been pumped and I've been so happy for this challenge. So you guys are going to just want to get on into it. So today it's Tuesday, 10, 17 in the morning we have just moved into our brand new house now you guys are probably wondering how we've afforded to buy this house um it was on the gallery little simsy made this house uh i will show you guys the house it is so cute it was like sixteen thousand simoleons so it was just on our our budget because we had how much we had 17,000 simoleons gifted as inheritance stephanie's mum passed away 
Uh, and she wanted to move into, sorry, you guys, I'm getting used to the camera controls. Uh, we had 17,000 simoleons gifted from our mum who passed away. Um, so pretty much a background story on Stephanie. She grew up with ma- with her mum. She didn't know her birth father at all. She's never really had a male figure in her life. And that is why she is the way she is today. So her mum was really materialistic, real like into drinking, partying and going out at night, which in turn left Stephanie at home quite a bit to do everything, you know, be, be pretty much you know, fully independent, even when she was a child. So she has abandonment issues and she has anxiety, severe. And um, that's just because of her upbringing. You know, her mum really just didn't look after Stephanie in the way that she should have. And and she didn't really show love in the way that we show love. So that is Stephanie's background story. Um, The reason why we have this house is because our mum passed away and we do have the inheritance money. We did spend it obviously all on moving from Willow Creek because we were born in Willow Creek um, and now we live in Newcrest. So we spent all the money on moving here, which as you guys can see, we've just moved in. Our power has just been turned on in the house and we've just... Um, just really moved in and and started to get settled in. So here is a quick little house tour. I'm going to do a really quick top down, um, view of the house. I don't want to make you guys dizzy. So over here we have our bedroom where all the magic, magic, 24 carats, 24 carats in the air. (laughs) Okay. So that's where all the magic's going to happen. Literally baby making. Um, and woohoo. And then over here we have our kitchen, dining room, and then bathroom. And uh, someone at our door? Nope. I thought there was someone at our door. And I was just kind of panicking. Oh, and hello. I just got a text from 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 my partner. I'm going to turn this on mute because I don't really want this interfering with my gameplay. So um, how long have we been recording for? We've been recording for only seven minutes. Perfect. So we're going to get some gameplay in. All right. So more about Stephanie. Now, I just need to move this cup out of the way. Cool. So she doesn't have a career. Her aspiration is to be the serial romantic. Girl, can you sit down? Just take a seat. This is your house after all. Anyways, so she is materialistic, snob, romantic, and alluring. And uh, she's just kind of watching a few little pointers here on how to go and socialize and how to get all the boys. Yeah. Okay. So her relationships, she is romantic interests or lovebirds, I should say, with Jay Huntington. And she also has a little bit of a thing for Bajon. Now, the reason being is her and Jay Huntington grew up in Willow Creek together. They, they literally grew up and they were high school sweethearts. Jay Huntington moved out to a different area. Um, I think he moved to the city. I don't even freaking know, but he moved with his family nonetheless. And uh, I'm not too sure really where he is or what he's doing right now. Um, But Stephanie and Jay Huntington did have a thing in the past and he majorly, majorly broke her heart. You know, he left for the city. She was madly, madly in love with him. She honestly wanted to marry him, have kids with him. She really saw a future with Jay Huntington. But when he broke her heart into thousands pieces, he said, look, I can't be with you anymore, babe. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to move. Um, it's over, it's over. And she was literally just, she was honestly heartbroken is, I can't even express how heartbroken she was. So she's feeling quite bored right now. You guys, she wants to get out and do something. She wants to travel to the bar. That is so typical of our girl, Stephanie, you know, so typical. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're just going to do that. We're going to travel just by ourselves over to the bar. So her and Jay Huntington had a major, major split up. No one saw it coming. And uh, Jay Huntington's family really, really liked Stephanie and uh, really, really, really wanted Jay Huntington to marry Stephanie, you know? Um, And then, of course, that's when Stephanie started to kind of rebel. And her mum was just getting worse and worse and worse. And because of all the alcohol that her mum consumed. And, uh, yeah, she ended up passing away all of a sudden. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much where we are today. So, yeah, she does have a lot of insecurity, Stephanie. And she is quite anxious about the fact you know, of getting into relationships. Hence why she wants to just get to the top as fast as she possibly can. And she's turned really, really just into a bad girl. But of course, the girl with the pink top and the blue jeans would never do anything wrong to anyone, right? Right? We will find out. So here we are in our map. This is our area. Obviously, this is our house. We have a whole row of houses which have Sims in them and stuff like that. We don't even freaking know our neighbors because we 
we haven't met them yet but of course she wants to travel over to a bar so what we have over here is we have the oracle which goes off on a friday night it is just the best thing ever and then we also have more of a like a kind of low-key bar which is lee marriage which is kind of I don't know it's more of a sit down kind of bar there is parties there but definitely the oracle is where it's at we also have the body soul health club we have another lot of sims over here who live in the main area of town um so this is more of the um I guess city center over here well it's not really it's kind of like in I don't know it's the party central over here um and that's where a lot of things happen which I'm not gonna get into but you know there's a lot of fights and stuff over there and yeah pretty much the oracle is known as the hookup bar so you go there to find someone and you take them home for the night yep that sort of thing so it's like the hookup bar and then we have the main city center of Newcrest so we have the mall we also have the retro burger joint which is like going off right now and we would love to go there sometime with you know a guy or something just to say that we're so poor and that we need money and try and you know seduce them right there and then anyway we also have another little cute thing over here which is the 24 hour Newcrest gym as well as the Newcrest coffee shop so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the oracle um, we're going to just go out to the bar you know why not it's 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 time to get out and socialize with Stephanie um so if I call her Steph during this during this challenge it's okay um because sometimes I'll just call her Steph you know so here we are at the oracle and uh yeah we're about to get it done it up in here so this is the oracle guys as you guys can see it is like it's on the main sort of street and then obviously over here i'll show you guys uh, if i can zoom out and show you over in like the distance over there is like the main kind of housing residential area where we kind of live and then over more towards this way is the main area which has the mall and stuff like that which i showed you guys before so cool all right so here we are at the oracle and we are going to just see what our outfits are like so she has her everyday outfit she also has another outfit which ooh la la girl mm -hmm. so we're just going to get changed into something that says that we're so fancy we have a whole ton of money and that we're firm and proper and you know who like why what what, what would we ever do wrong you know <laughs> we're gonna act like uh we own the show sort of kind of but you know what I mean all right so here we are we're coming in here now there's not really much happening here is there I mean it's to be honest it's a little bit dead is there anything going on oh hi there's like a DJ up here Ooh. Yeah, so we have like a DJ, and then there's some Sims. Oh, there's a whole ton of Sims. Sims, Sims. Oh gosh, we're committing a lot of Sims in this challenge. Um, we have like this bar area, and then we have like computers, a tiki bar, and some gaming thing or glitch block thing. And then over the back here, we have the room where all the magic happens. You know, this is where you know you can get down and dirty in the red room. And <laughs> she's feeling so bored. And what is she doing? oh la freaking la who are you wow and apparently we're enemies with him <laughs> we didn't start this to a good start did we so what we're gonna do is we are going to order we're gonna order a drink we can't even freaking order a drink because we can't afford it so let's go ahead and order a water i mean it's better than nothing right yeah yeah it's better than nothing we don't have any freaking money so <laughs> I really hope someone will buy me a drink because to be honest I really freaking need it you know so there is this guy here his name is Keon he's actually quite cute he's actually really really cute let's try do an impression and uh we will just talk to him a little bit chat about actors we're having a good conversation we have to make this funny as well but um you know get to know him a little bit let's grab some chips as well because you know why the freaking heck not so we're having a good chat to the bartender, Mr. Keon here, and we've also got our eyes on someone that has just kind of walked in to the bar. Now, where is he? Where freaking is he? I saw him. Like, where is he? Travis Scott. He's an easy target. A real easy target. And it looks like Bajon is calling us, asking us out on a bit of a date. Now, do you guys think we should go? Do you guys think that we should go on a bit of a hot rendezvous date with Bajon? 
leave your comments down below because you know what? It is time to wrap up this part here and uh, leave some comments down below what you think. If you're excited for this challenge, give it a big like down below. Leave some comments. If you have not already subscribed and you guys would like to, hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell thing because that's really cool and you guys will be notified when I upload the next part of this challenge. I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.